Okay, so we finished working on an assembly um, with items associated and say we want to export our bill of materials into a common for format, say, to upload into an ERP system or similar. So if we right click on uh, catch assembly here and we select go to item, uh, we can see this item here is in release date uh, along with all associated parts. We finished this work now, it's, it's complete. So if we want to export, say, the bill of materials, we can right click here and select bill of materials export. Uh, this is the export wizard, so it's just showing us what items we're going to exporting. We have a choice of uh, different types of file formats that we want to export to, so let's say C CSV, uh, common, comma separate value file format we're going to use. So uh, I want to just give this a name and a path, so maybe my desktop and sample. So here we go, and if I hit next. So this is the uh, fields that we're going to exporting to this file. So if we want to choose um, stuff like number, we can drag and drop over here. Number is already there. Something like material. Um, say units, unit quantity, and if you want to change the names of any of these, suppose your ERP system calls this QTY, and instead of number, say your system is calling this part number, we can change that here quite simply. Uh, so then we just hit export, and it's just giving us a, a view of our final product, and if we just hit finish then so this is the finished result uh, again highly customizable you can choose what 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 fields you want on this so you just have level quantity part number material unit quantity and units each